And yeah, Tokido, you know, three three weeks from now will be at Evo. Yes. And I think a lot of players, this is the time to really show up, right? Th this time of the year and the end of the year at Capcom Cup are really when you want to compete, be playing your best. And I think Tokido's in a good spot to be there. His opponent, Dan Slip, we saw earlier playing Kami. Yep. Had a pretty good showing as well. I think that he looked solid. Uh, Tokido is struggling a little bit in his pool match, so we'll see if... That's right, yeah, Tokido's was pretty close. Versus yeah. Fuerte, it was 2-1, to one, and it could have gone uh, badly for him. Dan Slip looked good versus Fresh. Player out of uh, New York, New Jersey area. And we'll see how this goes. Kami... Probably Kami versus Akuma. That's what guess. I would expect. Yes. Um, that'll probably be the matchup. So it looked like uh, Danceslip had picked a stage. And yeah. Tokido said, no, it has to be I'm, random. Yeah, he's like, I'm not about it. I know the rules. Yeah, that's the rule. It has that's to be random. Rules. It has to be random. Yeah. He's a stickler. I like it. So Kami versus Akuma, very explosive potential. Right. I think Two both characters these... who move well, who deal, deal damage very well. Yeah, for sure. And they both have good control, but also explosiveness, as yeah. you mentioned. That's what makes it dangerous is that they can both walk and forth, walk back and forth and dictate how things are going, but they also have that explosive damage output that makes it dangerous at the end of the round. Oh, oh. no! Yeah, he thought he saw something that he didn't. So, bad position already in the corner. Oh, he went oh, for he it. Oh, he did! Jeez. Dance up worried. Oh no, that's bad news. Maybe death? No. Yes! Oh wow, that last hit was deceiving. Yeah, EX tops you big damage, and that actually does a grip of stun too, that yeah, combo. It does. Uh, but yeah, there it is. So Tokido first round. And I think it just a couple of errors. Dance slip. I think uppercutting there, like, is not a terrible idea. Like, he probably thought it was not a back jump instead of a maybe he thought it was a oh, this punish. One. Yeah. Gotta make that count. He was very light when he had one chance to pressure though, and Tokido's gonna remember that. Wow. Reactions for Tokido and back to this mid-range control. Yeah, sure, right through. I think worth it there because it got him out of the corner and now he can walk Tokido down. Ah, Dan Slip gets the grab. No, out of there is Tokido. What? Okay. Oh my god, come on. It happened. <laughs> what a move. What a move. I'm not sure what I just saw. Out of the forward fierce. It was like a visual bug. All right, gets to confirm. It doesn't quite build CA at the end of that. Uh, isn't he X more damage? Yeah, probably. He might have been. I able think he might have been able to kill. Well, Tokido has a guess here. He can also be chipped out. Oh yeah, chip chip out is dangerous, but he has that uppercut available. What? Oh my gosh, he went oh in like a wild my. man, and Tokido doesn't take it either. Where is the it is, punish? Though. There it is, though. He, the recovery. And look, that was just sloppy stuff at the end for both players. You can see it on Tokido's face; he's not happy either. Yeah, a little sloppier than I'd expect from him. He had like that back fierce or whatever it was. I wonder what he tried. I don't know, but he missed a couple of big ones. Yeah, it could have been like a down heavy punch and a standing medium kick and uh, the whole thing punish, but okay, sloppiness for sure. Trying to settle himself a little bit. So As you can go. hear, we have more stuff going on in the venue. It's a loud one. Yeah, this is a you know this is a fanfare. This is CEO is the event that is an attraction. Yeah, right? yeah. Much more than a tournament. It's about the experience of being in the ring. You know, the wrestling theme, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Crush gets the pickup. Moving forward into the corner now is Tokido. And Dan Slip was ready. This, this is, huge. is huge, yes! You gotta punish. Side switch. Nice work. Is. I like that he didn't spend V-Trigger, yeah, because now he gets to activate and find offense. One more for stun. Oh man, you can punish! He oh. doesn't do it, he let it on the table. Hey, takes the run anyway. Yeah, a couple of big wrists and, and stuff from Tokido you don't usually expect. Back throw from Dan Slip, it builds you the most meter. This is a funky match overall. Both players are missing things quite a bit. Dan Slip now with all the meter. And you can see he has a little bit more confidence in moving forward. Yeah, I think dangerous, uh, especially against a, uh, a character like Akuma who can just explode if he gets hit. And that's exactly well, look at what's this happening. Range. Yeah, look at this. Great stuff from Dan Slip. Dan Slip escapes. Tokido ready for the movement. Ooh, interesting. Went for mix up, it seems, instead of damage. Activates, and one wrong oh guess boy. here will kill Tokido. Yes. Oh, well, he made the right call, and he's going to get close to killing. No, he saves the bar. Okay, next one for sure, though. There's a demon threat. Oh, he faked it. And Dan Slip did not respect it. He got him. Is that there? Oh, my God, Dan Slip, what a chase. That was so sick. Caught Tokido jumping out of the corner. 900 and was not enough. 
It was so dangerous. Like, so I think the thing is that Tokido, a little slobbier than we'd expect, but yeah. allowing Dan Slip to gain that confidence is what allowed him to have that match. Yes. I, I think that the drops and the, and the weirdness from Tokido right. really made Dan Slip able to, to bring that back. Think back to game one where Dan Slip had like Fierce into Dragon Punch and then another Dragon Punch, and it seemed like he was kind of on the ropes mentally, but then Tokido with his own errors, I think you're right, has allowed Dan Slip to get back into this thing and play his game. Right. Giving your opponents uh, confidence is one of the most dangerous things that can happen because, you know, depending on how you're playing or how they're playing, like giving them that just makes them feel good. And this is what you can see here. Yeah. Dan Slip's where he wants to be, still harassing. Yeah, way more buttons and offense and just taking control of everything. Yeah, we're seeing a lot more forward. Okay, Tokido does at least check there. Wow. That's bad. punishable. I don't know what the deal is, but Tokido is not looking himself. Yeah, that was a bad air fireball. Very, very negative. Yeah, and, and still in a very bad situation. Dan Slip could have taken it. He does after all. It's match point for Dan Slip in winner's finals against Tokido. We were talking him up earlier, and we should be, but right now, he's just not looking himself. Definitely not. Dan Slip is playing fantastic. Okay, there's the uppercut. Looks for the Fierce. It's not a hit confirm or anything since it doesn't land. Uppercut. There it is. Tokido. Anti airs are on point. That lets Dan Slip know he's looking for that air approach. Yes, right. So Dan Slip, maybe a little bit more ground approach. Wow, the delay was enough. Tokido. Tokido on yeah, you see him trying to backdash. You can see he just wants to escape. I mean, he's not playing like a confident man at the moment. And a, a hit from Dan Slip, if it's the right one right now, is going to get stunned. It's going to get a kill. Oh, that might be it. It is. Tokido, if he gets the combo, and, and he there does. It is. Tokido sent to losers by Dan Slip from New York, from New Jersey, I believe, in particular. We see him over in NLBC every now and then. We see him doing good work there. And he did great work finals. here. Yes, it was. I mean, clearly, he played well today. And I liked a lot of his, his decisions. At the same time, you got to say Tokido did not look like how he can look. Oh, right? definitely not. He didn't seem... Uh, not the confidence is a big thing to point out, but even on top of that, he was caught in the corner for a consistent and long amount of time. It's not like this was like Cammy got two hits and ran him out and there was the win. No, it right. was corner control. Buttons were not there from Tokido. The the defense was not there from Tokido. He had the anti-airs a couple of times, but then Dan Slip properly looked for the ground instead yeah. of the air approach, and he got through. So Tokido typically is so good at looking at both the air and the ground at, uh, at the same time. Exactly. Not that time. And it was like he went air, air, and then Tokido was anti airing it. So he's like, all right, ground. And then he did jump dive kick, and it yeah. hit Tokido hitting a ground yeah. button or trying something. Yeah. And if he was ready, he could have done like uppercut CA, and it might have even killed, but he just wasn't prepared for the anti air. So we have another winner's finals coming up.